the dangerous group, the groups that we're dealing with now. It was a nightmare. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here. Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of The Mediator with your host Brian West here to give you the top 8 headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. Now, as usual, I'll give you the top 8 local headlines and developing news stories that made it first followed by a movie clip, a skit, a trailer or something that's going on in the community or maybe some pictures and then I'll give you the top 8 international headlines and developing news stories that made it in. So let's waste no time folks. Woo-wee! Let's get to it! Story number one. The Chill Can case is heating up. The jobs and a fully operated factory was set to be up and running by 2018, but it is now 2022, and there is nothing but a bitter taste in what seems to be a failed Chill Can operation. A judge has given the attorneys for the Chill Can owner until Wednesday to or until Wednesday of uh, this week to provide documentation or was probably Wednesday of last week in Youngstown's 2.8 million dollar breach of contract lawsuit uh, this story is just starting to heat up and has uh, been developing for quite some time now this article made it in last week so this is a big big headline that's why story number one made it in this week story number two Rethinking the gas tax and what it would do. Borman is sounding the alarm on what the gas tax discount would do to their road department. The risk of losing such income would amount to about $650,000, according to a local article. Borman Township Road Department Superintendent Marilyn Kenner, uh, she feels that uh, the proposed suspension of the gas tax would devastate Boardman's Road Department. Now, if Senate Bill 277 is implemented, then uh, it would lower the gas tax rate 10 cents to 28 cents uh, per gallon, which would save drivers $1.05 for every 10 gallon, according to an article published March 15th in the Vindic Vindicator. That's why story number two made in this week. Big, big headline. Story number three. DeWine's gun law has some people scratching their head. Now, in a time when guns seem to be a major problem, Governor Mike DeWine has decided to sign into law a bill that removes training background checks and permitting requir permitting requirements now to carry a concealed weapon in Ohio uh, that, that used to be the case now this is sparking some debates and concerns now so far Ohio has seen some her very horrific uh, gun stories with many involving teens and some even little children. Uh, Youngstown alone has seen young children fall victim to gun violence and Columbus also has had an uptick in gun violence. There's been a, oh, probably over 100 killings now thus causing people to wonder why loosen gun laws now. Big big headline it is this week. Story number four. Which side of town has seen the most decay? If you were sitting in a room of people who lived who have lived in the Youngstown area and asked them what side of town has seen the most neglect, Eastsiders would probably raise their hands first. So far, Youngstown has been seeing the most crime. Uh, well, the south side of Youngstown has been seeing the most crime, and well, the city period has been seeing a lot of crime, and uh, has also seen neighborhoods fade into open fields. That's the south side of Youngstown uh, that have seen the fields come and the, the houses go. The north side is still hanging on, while the west side seems to be settled with a small amount of neutral growth. Now, so far, what side of town? Uh, uh, what side of town in Youngstown seems to be uh, the best nobody really knows because uh, there's not enough data right now no, so uh, so uh, what side of town is Youngstown's population going to that's another question now at the moment if there was a survey it would probably be sh probably show a mass migration of Youngstownites 
to the Austin town and probably Borman area, but uh, analysts are too so busy covering crime that they may not be able to cover a story like this. Now, either way, the city has some neighborhood restructuring to do, and most of the credit so far goes to the revitalization team that has been slowly making improvements to the city. Now, the city is in desperate need of more affordable housing and neighborhood development projects, so story number four is still developing. Big, big hell. Story number five. Taking a look to see which community has seen the most active activism uh, headed into another primary. Activism is back on the radar, folks. Looking at the history of how we vote locally, there are certain groups of people who play a huge part in getting people to be more involved and getting people to the polls, getting people to more to be more community uh, community activists, you know, so involved in, with community activities. There are people who specialize in stuff like this. Now, seeing the results of the last election and how few people showed up to the polls in the valley, the focus now is on the people doing the most inside of the community and in their field of choice and study. Now, one reading, uh, one reading program in Hubbard made uh, headlines, while other groups are doing everything to stay in the fight to make sure local community members understand that everyone plays a part in the development of a local community so nobody feels left out. Now, who shows up in the next election will play a big part in how aware local people are. Awareness is the key word in this story, and that's why I made it this week. Big, big headlines. Stand active in active time. Story number six. Could COVID-19 coverage be fading away? Uh, local COVID-19 story are somehow slowing down but the virus stories are still in the news now the main focus now is on what works and doesn't work uh, most communities have dropped mask mandates and some communities are almost near back to normal now once the COVID-19 stories fade out of the mainstream news uh, maybe hospitals will uh, go back to normal capacity if they haven't already. Now, only time will tell how this story develops because COVID-19 stories are still staying alive. That's why story number six almost made it to the top two this week. Could we be seeing the light? The light, the light at the end of the tunnel. Big, big headline. Story number seven and the top two local headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. Some people want it all. The government money, they want it all. But I ain't a you, baby. If I ain't you, baby. Some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything. But I've got a story for you. Yeah. Story number seven. 15 million for the valley. A government funded or well, government funding package worth 1.5 trillion is set to send 15 million in earmarked funds to the valley with 8.7 million going to a road project at the Youngstown Air Reserve Station. According to the Vindicator, uh, two million is set to go to the Youngstown Community Food Center for construction on the buildings. 1.5 million is set to go towards the Boys and Girls Club for upgrades and implementation of a sports field and walking field. One million to Mercy Health, Youngstown for well, well, for Youngstown for construction on a former Veterans Affairs Clinic. Eight hundred and fifty thousand for Mahoney High School to establish a community learning center. Five hundred and forty nine thousand to make improvements to a wastewater treatment plant in Louisville. Three hundred and twelve thousand seven hundred and forty four dollars for the Youngstown Business Incubator. Story number seven is a big big headline because it involves money, government money to build, to put people to work. Big big headline. Almost made to the top. Story number eight and the top local headline and developing news story that made it this week. Ooh Stories, baby. When the weather is getting better. Big, big headline. Story number eight. 
Measuring the local communities with the least amount of crime. This is a big headline. Crime continues to haunt the city of Youngstown area after 11-year-old girl survived an apparent drive-by shooting on the city's west, west side. 30 bullet shell casings were found on the street in front of the house after police arrived at the scene. So far, Youngstown is measuring pretty high on the crime scale and the warm weather is just around the corner. The city has struggled to rebrand itself as a self as well, rebrand itself as a prosperous city, it has failed to. It has struggled, very struggled to re, to repair the damage of years of violence, and uh, it's tried to rebrand itself as a prosperous city, but uh, but it still remains uh hard, and be, but they are staying committed to the goal of trying to rebrand the city. But we'll see how that. Only time will tell that turns out and how the story develops. But Youngstown has to battle crime, and that's why it uh, it is at the top this week where you see little children constantly being in the news getting shot, so it be even getting killed. That's why Sturdum Rate made it to the top this week. Well, folks, those are our top eight local headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. I'll be right back with the top eight international headlines and developing news stories. So don't go anywhere. You're the media. It'll be real. I'll be right back. Tune in and don't forget to subscribe to Method 8 Inc. YouTube channel. You can also watch free public entertainment. And don't forget to show some support by visiting www.method8inc.com by buying something, clicking something, watching something, or just reading something. You can also sponsor a program as well. That's www.method8inc.com. Buy stuff, watch stuff, or read stuff. Hmm. What does Method8inc.com Media Center have that I need? Small prints? Event consulting, photography, business consulting, technical consulting, entertainment consulting, fundraising advice, event videography, movies, news, publishing, media, books, entertainment, acting, broadcasting, public relations, access to the visual and performing arts, ink and black ink refills, audio recording, graphic design, theater, minor computer, and cell phone repair, and they're located at 5648 Market Street in Boardman, Ohio from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. every Monday through Friday. The list goes on and on. Method8inc.com. Buy stuff. Watch stuff or read stuff. Oh yeah! And yes, we are chipmunks. <laughs> We are way out of our league on this one. We are not supposed to be in this deep. We're into some kind of science fiction stuff here. The Field Angels is an investigative unit for you. The last thing I heard him talk about was a nucleus or something. The nucleus is the biggest conspiracy in the field of Canada. Is it real? Seven years ago, you wanted to be a superhero, and you wanted little kids to be your superhero project. Kid, get down on the ground now. What are you doing? Put your hands up. Hands up. Get there. I thought I told you kid was dead. When was the last time you had a vacation? I'm fine. Whoever has, is controlling this nucleus has found a way to move matter with photon particles. Do you mean like a spark? You apply it to the light, the photon particles, it attracts. If anything happens to one of these girls, surely they will shut us down. We lose it right now, big. You have 24 hours to get back here with that other field angel or don't bother because nobody here will have a job. I have practiced science my entire adult life, Mr. Daniels. That statement you just made makes you sound like an idiot. What treated? Somebody wanna tell me what's going on? You know what I hate most of all? An undisciplined child. Welcome back, welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top eight international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week, folks. You know, I had this crazy dream the other night with all this war stuff going on and uh, I was asleep in my room and I heard a sound in the closet and uh, I guess I was asleep when, uh, when, when this was going on. It was like an outer body experience and I heard somebody in the closet. So, uh, so I go over to the closet it was Putin, the Russian president, came, he was inside the closet, came out and attacked me like a gorilla. He was on my back, biting me in my neck. I pulled him over. We started duking it out. I couldn't believe it. We was fighting, rolling on the ground. 
And I was rolling. He had, he had teleported somehow in my room. This was Putin. The Russian president. I couldn't believe it. Duking it out. I mean, going at it. Blows. Wah, 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 wah. Hard blows. One to the face. Bam. Splattered blood everywhere. Nose busted. Me and Putin had got into a fight. Rolling all over my room floor. I mean, blood was everywhere. <laughs> Grizzly bears. I couldn't believe it. And then, when I woke up, after I defeated Putin in my dream, magically the war had somehow ended and everything had calmed down. <laughs> Ooh That's my story. And I'm sticking to it, folks. So let's get to it. Story number one. The crazy COVID-19 stories are still in the news. The New York Nets basketball team was fined $50,000 for allowing their star player into the lock. One of their star players into the locker room for not being vaccinated. Well, he was not vaccinated. They allowed him in the locker room. Wow. The Nets have also not allowed him to play in any home games. Now, what makes the story unusual is that fans are allowed into the state etc and people have been walking around with no masks all over the place now this story is sending a clear signal on how divided everyone remains on the crazy COVID-19 stories uh, this th these stories keep making headlines causing more and more news coverage uh, keeping COVID-19 stories in the mainstream news that's why turn number one made it this week story number two Tr what did Trump no, it's a big question. When observing the strategy of former President Trump, it may be clear that he has some very valuable intelli intelligence information, probably. Now, uh, many believe that Russia would not be taking the action that they are now uh, if Trump was in office. So let's evaluate some key Trump moves that, uh, make, that got the story in. Now, he drew attention to the border. That was one. He drew attention to energy independence that was two because we're having a problem with that right now he also focused on trade policies that was number three on the ticker now in looking at these three key strategic moves it's evident that trump may have been preparing america for something and many now wonder what he was preparing for or if he had information or if his intelligence crew had information because right now uh, all hell is breaking loose in Ukraine and everybody is looking and wondering uh, why or what happened and uh, that's why story number two made it in if the Bidens were involved or if the Trump administration were involved something is happening in the overseas market and somebody knows something somewhere that's why story number two is such a big big headline story number three the next outrage will be at the border folks that could be a fact border arrests went up in February putting a lot of attention on how global conflicts have a lot to do with border activity the outrage now is on what policies are the most effective for people seeking asylum the body administration has been a bit quiet on border plans but recent border patrol conflicts have been keeping this story alive Trump's stay in Mexico policy has also been making headlines because it seems like the body administration will have no choice but to keep it in place and that's why story number three made it in this week the border is still a big big headline Ooh, yeah. Big, big headline. Story number four. Los Galos, senorita. Getting expensive, baby. Senorita. Hola, Lola, the peritos. Story number four. The cost of living problems are real, folks. Inflation is causing a ripple effect as people try to adjust to the increase of the cost of living. Poverty rates are climbing, and analysts will be all over this new data that's coming in. They will also be looking at the job numbers, and if these, uh, well, if this administration has done anything to help out the working class and the poor. Democrats are under a lot of pressure, though, and a lot of heat, If because if they cannot get a hold on inflation, then the pendulum will, will, will could be swinging back to the right pretty soon. And that's why story number four made it in this week. Folks, well, those are our top four international headlines and developing news stories that made it in this week. I'll be right back with the top, top four. So don't you go anywhere. You're the media. Me, Brian West. I'll be right back. to guard the four corners of Escobar. Were you 
not given the duties to rule with an iron fist. I'm not strong enough anymore. Who is the leader of the governing board? Luna, sir. She has been appointed to take the place of her father. Escobar's governing board is in danger. Our land is producing enough crops to survive. I can't feed Escobar with dying crops. Magic lady, what the hell are you talking about? She comes at night and visits me in my sleep. First, I know your story, but you can't hurt her anymore. She's coming to you for a reason. What do you do about my son? Does this drawing look familiar to you? That tool is gone again, which means something's about to go down. They want to hunt Escobar over to you. I don't think it would be wise for Luna to put herself in danger at this pivotal time. Do you doubt me? If we light now, We'll save our planet and our people. You have to defend Escobar. If she's worthy, they won't kill her. This is gonna be fun. I ain't even telling in a minute. I'm with Luna. Defend us, Luna. You have my blessing. And that'll be our ticket to the North Star. I'll be a new Escobar. If you want to check out the stories that almost made it or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. If you go to the website, it's M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, method88.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just follow some program. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top, top four international headlines and developing news stories that I've made in this week. Folks, I could have swore I saw a leprechaun at the end of this rainbow, I was uh, driving uh, the other day, and a rainbow came out magically. It was up in the sky, and I uh, see this uh, leprechaun, uh, and I, I couldn't believe it, because the leprechaun looked like he was had wings. I mean, he was dressed in green, and uh, he jumped on my car, and I, and I, was, I swear, and I was like, oh, oh, I'm going to crash, no. And he said, look at me, little buddy. No, we want to give you some gold. And he, just, he came out, and, I, and then he came out, I came out the driver's side, and, and uh, he gave me some money. Gave me some gold. He said, right, little laddie, spend it on the way, spend it on the rates, spend it on the rates. Increase the economy. This is for you, lad. So I took the money, and uh, the, the leprechaun just disappeared magically. The rainbow went up in the sky, and... You best believe I took that gold and I spent it on the show. I paid the bills and uh, and uh, that's why I'm here. That's what got me here in Leprechaun. They gave me some luck and some love for mediation. <laughs> well, folks, uh, that's my story about the Leprechaun in March and for the Irish folks. Uh, so let's waste no time. We were tap dancing and doing our jolly little Irish dances. So uh, let's waste no time, folks. Let's get to the top, top four. Let's get to it. Oh, laddie, laddie. Let's get to it. <laughs> Story number five. A lot of people are preparing for the worst, folks, even with leprechauns around. Some market watchers continue to report a grim picture of the future, but some people are remaining optimistic. Either way, the markets are being hit from all angles, folks. Uh, you have supply chain issues. You also have the rising cost of energy, which is causing a large number of businesses to slash budgets. Uh, war news also has people holding on tight. Now, overall, the Fed continues to uh, adapt to market pressure and uncertainties. Assur assurance seems to be what's keeping this story alive. That's why I made this week, big, big Story number six. What America has learned about war. Strategy is everything, and no one knows why one country would just attack another country without any type of plan. If they did already, without any type of plan, well, why would you just go in and start blowing stuff up? This is the entire case with Russia and America, and seems to be in a well, it's, this is what ca is causing a chess match as uh, Ukraine is in dire need of assistance because uh, nobody wants any more conflict. Nobody wants uh, anything more to break out. And, and trying to avoid, avoid a world war uh, in well over 100 to 50 
year span, so over the course of 100 to 50 years of American uh, wars, now is the time that people just do not want another war, war because every century we seem to be in a war. Now, America has always found itself in some form of conflict every single time something breaks out overseas. Now, Russia's keeping this story alive, and the more news that comes in about the raging bear, the more America's strategy will shift, and that's why story number six made it in this week, almost made it to the top two, because we've learned a lot about war over the years. Big, big headline. Story number seven in the top two <laughs> international headlines and developing news story that made this week D -d 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 round seven this quarter we got Brian Blaze with everyone for the mediator here we go story number seven the war on fossil fuel stories are getting people's attention folks gas oil all that stuff and is he is electric really the answer that's the question uh, now, is electric really the answer? Many say no. This story is dragging the average citizen into the energy arena because just about everybody has a gas and electric bill. The war on fossil fuels is not only making people turn to wa to walking and biking, but it's bringing a new form of activism out of common sense thinkers. Now, the energy debate is real, and if the poor keep getting poor, then this story will stay alive. That's why story number seven made it to the top two this week Ooh, i'm sure you get it baby get it. story number eight and the top international headline and developing news story that made it this week oh you're such a good little baby look at the little baby he takes something to eat baby let me give you a story before you go to get up to go to work and go to church baby let me give you a story the top international story baby Ooh, woo, woo. Story number eight, the job market is still on the radar, folks. Job growth is stagnant. Wages are also sparking conversation. The job market is doing what it does best. It's adapting on its own, and the numbers are showing it, folks. Now, in uncertain times, the worker is getting smarter and observing the art of negotiations when it comes to wages, self-investments. These are all factors and where to find consistent work, consistent work. This is all in the story. The job numbers have not been consistent, thus keeping the story alive in the Biden administration in the hot seat. So in, uh, I think in February, the job market uh, was showing signs of, uh, of, of tipping over. The unemployment uh, claims were, uh, were up, so we'll see how the break develops that's why i made it to the top of the week because we got the work 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 see me do me da, 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 da. Ooh -wee. that's why story break made it to the top of the week well folks those are our top eight local and international headlines and developing news stories i hope you got something on today's program I always get something out doing the research as usual i like to thank all the news outlets the media the people on the front lines you deserve all the credit i'm just a mediator if you want to show us some support here at meth Aid, it does not take much all you have to do is visit the website on the screen buy something click with something watch something read something or despise our program let's hope we can get over this hump of war and move on and get better let's hope we can continue to get better with covid in the general so folks i'll be back next week looking through over 200 or more stories to get us over the hump next week so have a good week everybody thank you for tuning to the mediator with me brian west peace ooze and machismo baby <laughs> Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here.